Hi everybody, welcome to the Cartoon Coach and today I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, the basic structure of cartoon hands. We are going to start with a four-fingered hand uh, just so you can compare it to your own hand while you're drawing. I'm using Sketchbook Pro in order to, uh, to teach you this today. So um, just follow along in your sketchbooks. Everything can be done at, at home as well. This is just your basic circle that you want to put in the middle of your page. Uh, next thing you're going to do is create this shape, which is like a half oval sticking off of it. So just create that kind of shape. You want it to be about the same size, both of the, uh, the shapes, They're roughly the same size. What we're going to do next is we're just going to put up one line going right up through the middle, just cutting the whole thing in half. This shape is meant to be like a mitten. If you can picture your hand inside of a mitten. So of course with a mitten your thumb is free to move around and that's going to be right there. So it's just this kind of sausagey shape sticking off of the hand. Next thing we're going to do is throw in the wrist, which goes about there. And what I taught in my class on Saturday was um, that this was kind of a gloved mitt, just to make it easier to understand. And we'll do like Mickey's wrist, although we're doing a four-fingered hand and Mickey has, uh, Mickey has just three fingers. So we'll just fill that in a little bit there. Wonderful. So we've got this great little mitt shape. And you got a picture that there's four fingers inside of it. So to do that, this already separates the fingers. We're going to separate it one more time on this side and one more time on that side. You can take it a little bit further than the ball. This shape here, I want to talk about the shape of the hand, and this is something that I, I should have gone over in the class. If you take these two shapes and put them together and make one large shape, and cut it in half, it's right about there, and that's where your hand is going to, to, to move, it's going to bend from. So that's what you want to do, and that's how far down these lines go. The next thing you're going to do is identify the length of your fingers. So I'm going to number them for you. One, two, three, and four. And I've numbered them by height. Your middle finger is the tallest one. Next is your ring finger is the next one. The third one is your index finger or your forefinger, and your smallest finger is your baby finger. And of course this is a thumb, but it's not to be confused with the other since it's not connected with them. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop off the ends of this mitt to make our fingers. Here we have the length of the first finger. I'm going to cut the other one off there for the second finger. There's the third, and the baby one is really small and it's right there. Now. You, remember, you can draw as messy as you want. We're going to go through this afterwards and knock back the drawing, which is something we talked about in class, but I'm going to remind you how to do it in a moment. For right now, let's throw in this line here, because what it's going to do is going to show us where the ball is that our thumb is connected to. See how our thumb is connected to this ball? It's what helps it rotate in space. So, your thumb kind of moves in this direction, and it comes around, and that's our thumb. And then our first finger is here, second finger, just go over them again with your pencil, third finger, your baby finger connects there, and then the back side of your hand there. And that's it. This is a cartoon hand. We're all done. The only thing that we're going to do now is we're going to knock it back and go over it one more time, which is what you need to be doing with all your drawings. Especially if this didn't turn out the exact way you wanted, you don't have to start a new drawing. Let's go and we're going to grab our eraser, which is right there. And for you guys, I want you to use your kneadable eraser. And I'm going to erase my drawing. I'm going to push it back. And then what you have left is just this rough shape here, this rough design of, of what you had started with. We're going to use our pencil and we're going to retrace off all the things that we like the most about our drawing. I like that line. I like the way it came down like this. And then you can you can change some things if you weren't happy with them. I'm happy with that. You can rotate your page too. If you find it's hard to draw at the angle you're at, why not rotate your page? Right? There's one finger. There's another finger. You can move in closer if you need to see better. 
for you, for me, I'm I'm using a tool to to move it closer to me, but you'll have to actually move closer to your sketchbook to get in there, right? And I can rotate my page again. Don't don't be afraid to rotate your page like that, and then you're going to do this line that goes across here. Notice how I took this straight line, I made it curved. I always say this in class, straight lines are boring and lifeless. Curved lines, they have feeling and life to them. Okay, now I'm not happy with this. You can always use your eraser to just take it down, take down a little area there and fix it. There we go. And do the bottom of the glove here. And we are just about done our four-fingered hand. The last thing I want to show you about this four-fingered hand. I want you to take a look at your fingers and your thumb. And notice where they bend. So like your middle finger bends right about there and right about there. And your index finger bends right about there and about there. And your ring finger there and there. And your baby finger probably has the largest tip to it. Okay, and the same thing with your thumb, it probably bends about there, and then it's going to bend about there as well, okay? The reason I wanted you to look at all that is because when we start getting into closing a fist or drawing a hand that's pointing, you need to know where all these, these points are in the hand where it actually bends. And you see, I'm, I'm still not quite happy with my drawing, so I'm, I'm going over it again. So there's nothing wrong with going over and over and over your drawing. At this point, if you wanted to, you could knock it back a step further. And then you could go back over it one more time. And really, really define your, your, your shape of your hand. If you wanted to. You don't have to. But I want to, so I'm going to. Maybe even simplify some of this stuff. Simplifies, make it more simple, make it a little less complicated. I had a lot of detail going in that hand, and maybe it's not really necessary to have all that. See, like I have this bump and then the next bump. Maybe I just want that to be one single bump, so it's not so complicated. And maybe I want to take this in a little bit and give the thumb a little bit of a different shape. I think I'm happier with this hand now. Fill in the wrist here. And then, of course, got that shape, those wrinkles that you see there. And I think we're done with our cartoon hand. Let's take a look. That works. We got all our hands. Compare it to your hand and you'll see it's, uh, it's pretty much the same as your hand. But it's a little bit exaggerated because it is a cartoon. Now, let's take what we learned there and we're going to create a really cartoony hand. One with three fingers like Mickey would have or Porky Pig would have. So you want to create, you want to draw your circle. That was a pretty poor attempt at a circle that's much better and then it's the same thing you want to create a mitten off of it like that okay let's put a line through the center of it we want to create our thumb shape off to one side put our wrist in voila remember it's going to be a glove so you can put the end of the glove in take it from here to here now consider this all one shape and we're going to cut it in half right about there okay this is, might even be a bit big. We can take this down just a little bit. Okay, wonderful. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to count off our fingers. And here we had one, two, three, four fingers. Today, on this one, we're just going to do three fingers. So we're going to separate them using two lines. And when we use these two lines, what are we left with? One, two, three fingers. The middle one still being the longest. And you can chop off a little bit of the index finger. And now this, this one becomes our baby finger. So 
the rest of the drawing is pretty much the same as you did on your last. You've got the ball here that holds your thumb into place and you've got your thumb the side of your hand and we're pretty much done that's that's the end of the cartoon hand with three fingers what are we gonna do next we're going to knock it back and now that we've knocked it back let's go back in and choose all the shapes that we like the most. You know, we could have even throw in those lines where they bend, right? And this is a very Mickey style or Porky Pig Looney Tune style hand. I'm not happy with those fingers, so what are we going to do? We're going to knock it back. I'm going to actually make my eraser a little bit smaller. Oops. But I can still see that where they are, so I, I have a good idea as to what I'm going to do with them. There, I like that much better. And that's where they're going to bend, basically, those fingers. So you can take this lesson and then you can start applying it to other shapes of your hands just by looking at your hand. So for example, if you wanted to do a closed fist, just hold a closed fist up in front of you. Remember to think of your mittens, I'm sorry, think of your fingers as mittens. So we've got, this is going to be the palm of our hand, right? And we're going to close our fist. And to close your fist, you're going to have this mitten shape folded over. If it helps, go put your mitten on and, 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 and see what that looks like. And then, of course, your thumb is going to come up over here like that. So you you've got a closed fist. Look, this is the same um, angle we're looking at the hand. But what did I do here? I, I just folded the mid over where when it was open. Let's just do it really small up here. Remember, we had an open mitten, and I've moved in the thumb and I've folded down the fingers. So let's do that. I've got this. Whoops. Apologize for that. Here's our closed fist. And then what we're going to do is we're going to define our fingers. Remember this is, again, this is another three, three fingered hand. There it is. Can you guys see the shape with all this messiness? It's hard, right? But it's in there. What we have to do now is we have to knock it back. Okay, so I've knocked it back. Take my pencil. And I've got my thumb is here. And it's all folded up with wrinkles. There's another wrinkle. There's another wrinkle. That's my thumb. Look, see, I can put... There's my, there's my thumbnail. Okay, and then we've got the bottom of the thumb coming up into the hand, and we have the finger all folded up. You can see your own fingers, how it's all folded up. And we're going to cover this some more in class on Saturday, right? And then you can have another nail there. And here, I'm just going to put these lines in to show you how it's folded there. And then, of course, the bottom of that side of the hand and then we've got the base of the glove and the wrist we can fill it in so that there is how you draw a closed fist I used all the same principles that we learned on the big ones on, on, on the open hand sorry 
Um, remember, if your, your hand doesn't look like this at first, it's not a big deal. The hands are the most difficult thing to draw on the entire body. Hands and feet. Super, super tough. Even professionals will tell you sometimes they have a hard time with hands and it's just easier if you use references, which means you're looking at something. So, for example, you could look at your own hand. If you are trying to draw an angle that you can't look at your own hand, you could look at pictures of a hand. If you don't have a picture, you could ask mommy or daddy to take a picture of your hand so that you can draw it properly. Um, here we go. You can even take a quick shot with your iPhone. You can look at it right on there to see. And then, of course, if it's not turning out the way you want, don't get rid of your drawing. Just knock it back and rework the drawing. Just keep working the drawing until it starts to get where you want it to be. So there we go. That's how you draw a closed fist cartoon hand. You can take it a step further. Let's take it a step further. There's my circle. Let's open up the hand. So picture your mitten, picture your fingers inside your mitten and you're, you're spreading your fingers like that. So your fingers are spread. Okay, we'll just put our regular thumb there. Wrist coming off of here. And we're, we're cutting the hand right about there. So we're going to have three fingers. One here, one there, and one there inside of your mitten. Simple as that. And they're connected here. And they're rounded off there. Right? There's this, this line here, right? Because remember, there's a ball that the thumb is connected to. And you go over it a bunch of times until you're happy with it. And then what do you do when you're done? You knock it back, which we're about to do now. See how rough I went over that with, with it too? Look, look at how high this is. That's wrong. That should be down here. Same with this one. Like that. And then you can see, look, this is where this finger would bend. This is where this finger would bend. And that's where this finger would bend. Okay? And same with the thumb, right? It would bend here and it would bend there. It would bend a bit there as well. So, let's, uh, let's knock it back. Let's take the eraser, and we're going to take it down, and now we can still see it, right? You can still see your hand, and we're going to throw in the thumb. I don't know why I always start with the thumb. You don't have to start with the thumb, I just do. There's that thumb, and here is the forefinger. When you're doing a three-fingered hand, I wonder what cartoonists, what animators think is the missing finger. Is it the middle finger that's missing, or is it the, the ring finger that's missing? And if it's the ring finger that's missing, can cartoon characters get married? Huh. These are things I think about when I'm drawing cartoons. I think that's funny. Of course they can. They probably just put their, their, their ring on this finger, which means they have no middle finger. This is the ring finger. Right? It's a bit thick. I think that middle finger is a bit thick. Let's uh, let's take that down. I'm not a, I'm not happy with the way that that middle finger turned out. Let's um, reduce the size of my eraser and erase more. It was too big, too chubby. I'm happier with that. That's much better. Let's take that eraser again. And you can do this with, with your needable eraser too. There's just a little piece that you want to fix. Then uh, then use your needable eraser to, to fix it. Anyway, that's, that's essentially it. That's how you draw cartoon hands. I've given you quite a bit to think about there. We've got our first hand here, which is more like your hand and my hand. And then we've created our initial cartoon hand. I've shown you how to close a fist, 
how to open it, why don't you go and try and see if you can make it pointing a finger, right? You remember to use your mitt. If I'm drawing my hand, I do my circle there. Um, you know, maybe I'm going to have a finger pointing, and then I do that mitt shape here, and then the thumb folded over like that, and then the wrist coming off. And it's as simple as that, figuring that part out. Maybe it's someone doing a peace sign, you know, with the two fingers up like rabbit ears. So you would have, you might mitten up the two fingers to see how they go, and then you'd have the other one folded, and then this one folded, right? And then your wrist comes off of it. And then perhaps you might have him doing... Um, let's see, what else could he be doing? He could have his, his hand uh, with all three fingers out, but his, his thumb folded over for whatever reason, you know? And, and we'll cover, like, holding things later on, um, and we'll cover putting the hand in a different position. Like, I might, if I had a hand pointing at you, you might see... This is a lot harder to think about, but you'd have to figure out how that glove kind of comes towards you. And we're going to cover that. But that's perspective and foreshortening, and we're not covering that right now. But I just wanted to show you that we will get into that down the road. For now, practice just some basic hands. It's important. Because I know a lot of the six-year-olds, for example, right now when you're drawing hands, it, you know, it turns out to be this this type of thing in your drawing. I really just want to see that you guys can kind of understand that your fingers, you know, have some shape to them and that they're in there. And for the older kids, well, you guys should be able to draw them like this at the very least. And uh, I'm hoping one day you're going to be drawing even better than me. So uh, this was Cartoon Coach. This was drawing basic cartoon hands. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll move on. We're going to do some more, some more video tutorials today and uh, talk to you soon www.cartooncoach.ca. Bye now.